What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This is just a quick video, like tips. Um, that's how we, that's what, that's the difference between us and any shop management out there is we continue on uh, teaching you how to use the program. We continue on uh, listening to problems from, uh, from our customers and we see a common problem that a lot of people have and we tend to, we tend to like fix it as soon as possible. Uh, first problem I wanna talk about, let's say, um, let me see if we have an estimate right here. So the problem is, okay, so let's say I have, um, let's say I'm selling a parts starter and uh, I wanna sell the starter. The starter cost me for $125 and I wanna sell it for 190 even. All right, no problem. And the problem is, let's say, it turns out the star, because I have to get the star from someone else, and I know the star is gonna cost me more or less. The issue was we're having, when we changing the prices right here, let's say I changed the prices, well, the price is costing me 139 now, because I couldn't get it for that price. And if you notice, the, the sell price automatically changed based on your percentage, which is that's how it's supposed to do. But the, what it, well now, I can, maybe I could not sell it with the new price. So I have a new, we have a, like a, I call it a link more than anything. A link, you click on it, and it's gonna give you the original price back. And if I click on it, you see $190. Somebody told me about it recently. I've encountered this multiple times and uh, i'm glad that we did it so you guys don't have this problem anymore otherwise you're gonna have to sit and guess how much i was trying to sell it and uh you really don't want to call the customer or see his estimate anymore now it's instant let's do it again let's say i want to sell it for the same it cost is 50 dollars. now you see it switched it to 67.50 and if i click on undo it's going to put it back at 190 dollars. so that's pretty cool another thing uh, somebody told me about again something again I only change stuff when I see the problem it's a generic problem it's not like just one person problem because we there's no way we can fix everybody a problem but we do what we can do is fix a problem that everybody's facing uh, and the problem was he was telling me about is like Mark I need to see under notifications I need to see the name and then the phone number so uh, let me just test this again so let's just say i'm just gonna text myself real quick test so basically um when when the notification comes from the right side it's gonna say the name of the customer that way we know who we're dealing with otherwise we're gonna sit and try to figure out uh, whose phone number is that and we're gonna save that uh, notification just like the notification that works with VIP shop management right now exactly works just like on your iPhone uh, same way exactly so if you see right there it's gonna say new message from Mark Ismail and this is his phone number and that's the message and if we go to under notification right here we're gonna see uh, up top so the, the way our notifications only notification it's kind of stacks from the recent all the way to the bottom so the the, the first line is the recent it's going to say received now received four minutes ago, four minutes ago just like your iphone so we are literally we i mean don't get me wrong apple is a huge but you know when i see something good that they have i want to use it and we will use it so I like their, 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 I always called Apple one thing, they're classy, and I've always, uh, that's, that's what, that's my uh, identity is to be, to be a classy person, I've always been a classy person, but I always try to tend to make it better and, and better, so, anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys, until next time, uh, thanks for watching.